your latter will be greater, the end better than the beginning. Job chapter 42 verses 10 and 12. And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Now the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. Job was a righteous man. He was an innocent man. He worshipped God. He honoured God all the days of his life. He lived right before God. And yet, we know that the enemy, the devil, attacked his life and his possessions, his home, uh, so many areas of his life, even to the point of his own health, where Job suffered for a period of time. Now, uh, while it does not state specifically how long Job suffered, most Bible scholars believe it was about a year, maybe even less than a year, that we have uh, uh, the narrative of the book of Job describing those situations. So Job suffered for a period of time. And uh, yet, in the midst of all that, he did not lose his faith in God. He did not curse God. But you find Job saying things like, uh, uh, that Job's dis dis describing his faith in God, declaring his faith in God. He said things like this in Job 23 verse 10. He says, he knows the way I take and when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. So Job said, look, I, I know that God knows the way I take and once I'm through all of this, I will come forth as gold. God is going to do something beautiful in my life. That was his confidence. That's what he had inside of him. And so while he was going through that difficult time, he did not change his understanding or his perspective or his view of God. He said, God is for me. God's with me. I'm going to come forth like gold. And the beautiful thing is when you come to the end of the story, you find that God turns things around and he gives Job twice as much as he had before. And he blessed the latter days of Job more than the beginning. His latter was so much greater than his beginning. And this is what God can do for you and me. No matter what difficulty we, plunge, we find ourselves plunged into, we can come back strong. We can arise. We can come out of the horrible pit. Our ashes can be turned into something of beauty. God can put a new song in our mouth and our latter end can be greater than our former. The end can always be so much more powerful, so much more glorious than the beginning, if we will look to God. So don't give up. Take the example of Job. He didn't turn his back on God just because of the difficulty he went through. He said, I know whom I have believed. I know my Redeemer lives. I know when he has tested me, I'll come forth like gold. He affirmed this faith in God. And you know, God turned things around for him. In Micah chapter 7, verses 7 and 8, I'll read that again for us. Micah said, Therefore I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. Look to God. Keep your eyes on Him. Wait for Him. Even if you fall, you will arise. In darkness, God will be your light. You can come back strong. Let's pray. Father, we thank You that You can so work in our lives that our latter will be so much greater than the former. The end will be so much more powerful than the beginning. And I pray release this blessing in our lives. Especially, Father, if there's anyone going through a hard time in life, going through a difficult time in life, let them know that even if they have fallen, they will arise. Even if they are in darkness, you will be a light. We look to you. We wait for you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.